much for being invited here. I would like to bring you a little bit farther, um, five hours away, five hours uh, by train from Penzance to Paddington Station, 15 minutes to Heathrow, two and a half hour flight to Warsaw, and then 45 minutes by car to the place called Otwalsk, which is the place where I grew up, and which is the place where I, from 1985, I worked there. This is a very boring place. <laughs> There's no mines. <laughs>
it's rather kind of the archive of many, many things. I use different materials in my art, but I didn't want to show you here the works, but just the bits and pieces. So materials which I use are very, very, very different. Usually we have the used materials, like for example here are the, the old something, the heavy balls, which in Polish language have the name of uh, medicine balls. And the other materials which I work with are like the pine needles, ash, which is the, comes come from this house, from the heating, the ash, which is a kind of the uh, trace of the heat. Some minerals, salt, rocks, which I also use in my art. <coughs> This is the view from under the roof to the space. This is the poster of the movement which I started called Inimalism, which was built, made of the poster of the exhibition at the Tate. <laughs> And actually, I made this intervention in 1990 when I didn't know where I will go. But already at that time, minimalism was too long sentence for me. So that's why I started the new movement called minimalism. And I took also away the letter T from the Tate on this poster. So it was an eight gallery and minimalism. <laughs> gave me the lesson of limits because the sculptures I could the size of the sculpture was determined by the size of the doors and the window I couldn't make bigger sculpture I had to think what will be the size how, how can I take it out of the space the plants, the building also was very important for me the building by itself the dimension and the proportion of the place, because this plant, this is the building from 1935, built by my grandfather. <coughs> and when I work in this building, actually I notice the importance of this place. So, <coughs> when I found the friendly ground, which is in Geyserville, which is north from San Francisco, Napa Valley, near Russian River, which was mentioned on the first day. The friend of mine, Steve Oliver, has a ranch there, and he invites artists to make the projects. Like Richard Serra did something. Uh, and Hamilton, Bruce Nauman. But anyway, the, the guy was very friendly, and he was really taking care, so that's why taking care of the art he owns. So I decided to make the kind of the memorial of my house uh, based on the dimension of the uh, plan of the floor of this house. We made in the scale one to one the white concrete slab on the hill in Geyserville. And in the places where beds were, the beds in this house, like the, the beds of my grandparents, the bed of my sister, the beds of my parents, and the bed of mine, I, we made recess in these slabs. And at the top of these negative shapes of the beds, there, was a, there were 
the thin stream of waters running all the time. So, and I'm quite happy that this piece is there in the good hands. Because art is not only about the places, it's also about the people who take care of, of it. And another good place was completely different, was completely far away, in the north of Sweden, in the place called Umea. <coughs> and there, you, can't, you couldn't feel this, but based on the same floor plans, I built the concrete walls exactly surrounding this floor plan, so exactly like the walls of the house. And the height of these walls was <coughs> two and a half meter, which means as much as I can reach and as much as I can protect. And from the distance, this structure looks like open box, but when you came closer, you, you couldn't, it, you were confronted with the wall which doesn't let you in. And, uh, and then you can feel different proportions of this space. And the only entrance to this structure was a small hole, like the mouse hole, at the bottom of the sculpture. It was a hole of, of the diameter, half circle of the diameter, let's say two feet. So you could enter into this space, but you could enter only changing your position, changing your position into horizontal. And this position, horizontal position, I think is also important for us. And it's good to practice it, not only at the time of sleeping, but also as a metaphor of thinking, horizontal thinking. And as this place, as an otvotsk, as a, as a space, gave me a lot of inspirations. I, in some moment, I decided uh, to share this place, this mine, because I found the different layers in this place, different layers of inspirations. And as, a, as, as with age, I started to limit it, my ego. I decided to share this place with the other artists the younger artist and with the friend artist. And a year and a half ago, we started a project called Otvosk, but I would like to invite Kasia Regis, who <coughs> can tell you more about this. Thank you.